The JVP convened a media briefing at the headquarters today. As the Minister of Finance, Mahindra Rajapaksa had presented a cabinet paper in the last week. A three-acre land which is adjacent to the Beire Lake and Shangri-La Hotel will be leased to a Singaporean company for 43 million US dollars. That cabinet paper was approved. Back then, they sold the land to the Shangri-La. Today, they sell the land adjacent to the hotel to Singapore. They boasted about taking over the lands that were previously sold as well. But today, the subject minister says that what they are doing today is finding investors to give away the Matala airport to a foreign company. The government is trying to do this by disregarding their mandate. How can they provide this to a Singaporean company without calling for tenders? For how many years are they trying to sign this lease agreement? People of this country are not aware of these matters. Even before the completion of one and a half months, the Rajapaksa regime is trying to do what Maitri and Ranil did. State Minister Shehan Sema Singh responded to these allegations on behalf of the government. We reject that statement completely. It must be said that under President Gotabe Rajapaksa and Mahinda Rajapaksa, there was no such sale of land. Accordingly, the discussions for this purpose was first held in 2014. However, the government had failed to implement this investment properly and various issues had been discussed and prolonged for this investment. First, it was said that it is an investment of $200 million, but under our government, it was turned into a $250 million US dollar investment. Therefore, we have always been a government who has maintained transparency. The people of this country, including the president and the prime minister, have the freedom to question them at any time. <laughs> The Singaporean Investment Project, the MCC, the Rice Mafia and the Constitutional Amendments are back in the picture. Responding to the allegations, the government says it is making the correct decisions on behalf of the people. During the tenure of the last government, several issues including the bond scam, the Volkswagen factory, the Horana tyre factory and the Hambantota oil refinery were the most controversial topics that were much talked about. These incidents caused major financial losses to the country and its people. Some of the leaders of the government justified these incidents by appointing committees that comprised of affiliates and confidants. In addition, friends and relatives were appointed to responsible positions of power in a bid to suppress the investigations that were ongoing. The general public, who defeated these attempts, are now paying attention to the actions of the current government as well.